So other matters, the corona unraveling circumstances into the controversial death of a Lagos-based pastry chef, Reju Boma, in 2021, has indicted doctors of Premier Specialist Medical Center for medical negligence. Kemi Fola Deyemo gives us more from the corona's findings after almost two years of hearing the inquest. Reju Boma died on April the 25th, 2021, after she suffered internal bleeding following an elective hysterectomy for a fibroid condition at the Victoria Island-based hospital. After the surgery, the mother of two complained of severe abdominal pain and discomfort. Her blood pressure also dropped to as low as 50 to 30. She died after she was referred from Premier Hospital to Evercare Specialist Hospital. On reaching Evercare, she was found to have had no pulse and a subsequent CPR done to revive her failed. The deceased's husband, Ijoma, through his counsel from the law firm of Olisa Bakoba S.A.N., had requested for an inquest over the death. The coroner, Mukaila Fadi, started the inquest in June 2021, and her testimonies from 16 witnesses, including the widower, doctors, and the pathologist who carried out the autopsy. In his ruling on Thursday, Mr. Fadi faltered the actions of Premier Hospital surgeons in not doing a blood transfusion on the deceased before the procedure, even though she turned it down. He said doing so would have been beneficial. In his words, the surgeons conducted a sympathy surgery when they had a duty of care to their patient. The coroner noted that a liver function test should also have been done on Mrs. Suboma. Among the several pre-operation tests, she did, but which was after the procedure when she had developed jaundice. The coroner also ruled that the blood given to the deceased for the transfusions, though not expired, was old as it was belatedly found that fresh blood was expedient for her case. On the quality of care given to Mrs. Suboma, Mr. Fadei said she was poorly managed and should have been referred to another hospital earlier. Since it was discovered the day before she died that she needed urgent dialysis and Premier Hospital didn't have a CT scan for that. He said the only logical insights to her death is as a result of the combination of lack of due diligence of the doctors and that the failure of appropriate response, substandard and inadequate optimal care contributed to her untimely death. He also said other factors that led to her avoidable death was the absence of vital medical devices to detect the intra-abdominal bleeding, poor documentation, and the absence of a hematologist. In November 2021, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria indicted doctors Akisha Kuadini, Kelechi Rena, and Motunrayo Amadu, all from Premier Hospital, for misconduct in their management of Mrs. Suboma and referred them to a disciplinary tribunal. They have been recommended for trial uh, for the trial, uh, that is the medical tribunal, and that has not commenced. I believe that um, we will also be part of that process, and we are also considering bringing a lawsuit for one something to help the system. There must be a law. There were a lot of lapses, and if there were a law to regulate this, perhaps these things would not have happened. You know, the system can actually work if it's put to the test and if you persevere. I mean, I, I, I would um, salute the judicial system of Lagos State. I would salute the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. I would also salute the, the Medical and Dental Council. Because, um, the, you know, by the time we went to the Medical and Dental Council investigative hearing in um, October 2021, you know, we realized that it was actually a worse case than we thought. It was, it was really mind-blowing. I mean, I think it's very encouraging. I hope lessons are learned from this, which will um, improve the system. Amongst the recommendations proffered so as to avert a reoccurrence, Mr. Fadi said the code of conduct and ethics of medical practitioners should be tightly reviewed to severely punish negligent doctors. He advised the state government not to limit funding to only government hospitals, but also to private facilities so as to buy the needed equipment. The corona also urged government and regulatory agencies to ensure that hospitals abide by the standard PCV levels of both sexes before any surgery is done. He also called for more sensitization on the rights of patients. The corona 
didn't award any compensation to the widower as the inquest was a fact-finding mission. But he commended Mr. Ogoma for seeking out the truth in the long and difficult journey spanning almost two years, saying he hopes that with this knowledge comes peace. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.